Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is behavior management of a periodontic patient. So behavior management means the dental team effectively and efficiently performs treatment for a patient and installs a, a positive dental attitude in the patient. So we have various uh, fears and uh, factors influencing patient is so we'll be seeing only about the management of patient that is types of management so we have basically two types of management one is by non-pharmacological methods and another one is pharmacological method so we are mainly concentrating only on the non-pharmacological methods so the first one is behavior modification appointment wise communication behavior shaping by tell show do technique or modeling and behavior management using audio analgesia, aversive conditioning, implosion therapy, mm -hmm. and retraining. And pharmacological methods, uh, sedatives, hypnotic, general anesthesia, and tranquilizer. So what we can do in non-pharmacological methods, the first one is communication. So various methods used for pre-appointment behavior modification includes we can send letters, we can uh, give films and videotapes so that the patient or the child gets familiarized with the procedure and he gets adapted for the first time uh, patient. So communication is a hallmark successful dentist, hallmark of successful dentist in managing children and is his ability to communicate with them and win their confidence. So what is tell show do technique? tell show do technique the so child is told about the treatment, show the instruments and then the treatment is performed just like this. If you are doing a restorative procedure, we show the instrument, we ask uh, the in patient to hold or the child to hold the, treat, hold the instrument and show them the water is splashing. If you are taking x-ray, we show them the film and tell them that it is uh, x-ray. It is not uh, x-ray, it is a film which captures images of your tooth and we can ask them to uh, rotate the uh, head of this uh, x-ray machine so uh, let the patient get familiarized so that he he gets uh, he gets uh, happy and the pay we can do the treatment in a very sympathetic and happy way so familiarizing with the technique is by telling showing and doing is a very effective way of management of it child and the similar way modeling can also be done modeling is just like uh, involves allowing patient to observe one or more model who demonstrate appropriate behavior in a same fashion so if patient is very apprehensive we can ask the patient to observe another patient it can be his sibling uh, or any other patient with a more or same age who behaves uh, in an appropriate manner under this uh, treatment so usually child has that uh, capability to uh, imitate everyone like they imitate parents they imitate siblings so they also try to imitate to uh, become a well composed uh, patient inside the dental clinic just for the imitation purpose so we can use that imitation uh, strategy under modeling so the next one is behavior management technique audio analgesia it is nothing but white noise we consist uh, consistently produce a sound stimulus we provide music in such intensity that the patient finds it difficult to attend anything else so we provide a noise so that the patient's concentration will be or his attention will be focused on the noise so that we can get the treatment done so that is white noise aversive conditioning is like uh, we are um, forcefully uh, asking the patient to uh, stop the screaming or stop crying and to cooperate the patient otherwise we'll keep our hand over his mouth it is like uh, children with sufficient maturity to understand simple verbal commands he is able to understand it but is not listening in that moment we need to keep this type of technique that is hand over mouth we forcefully close his mouth uh, so that he stops screaming and we ask the patient to cooperate with the procedures then he'll remove it so the patient cooperates so that is hand over mouth technique or we can use hand over mouth and nose technique but with careful uh, precaution uh, so that the patient cooperates so physical restraints like papus bow triangular sheet pedirac and mouth prop or bite block 
also there we can use these restraints for very different child so we can uh, tie the patient and get the treatment done voice control is dentist can raise his voice and instruct the child in short in short but strict commands so this is papo's board is just like a wrap complete wrap pedi wrap is nothing like we have seen this when uh, during accidents it is a miniature version of that type of uh, structure mouth rope is nothing but uh, blocks which keeps uh, the maxilla and mandibular apart so that the treatment can easily be done and the child won't interfere with the procedure so that is mouth probe implosion therapy is nothing but the patient is flooded with many stimuli that is like home technique voice control physical restraints all techniques are applied at the same time and the patient will not have time to resist because he is imploded with many stimuli so if one stimuli means he have a tendency to uh, go against that particular one so when we are imploding with many stimulus so you'll get uh, you'll lose the concentration he might uh, concentrate or he might cooperate with the treatment so retraining is like if a child have an unpleasant experience in the previous dental office or previous dental visit the child still feels that he is going to have the same experience so this is a known as this is known as non uh, it is a stimulus generalization he tries to generalize wherever he goes and whichever in this he goes you will have that in mind that the same thing which had happened last time will be going to happen so to remove this dentist has to demonstrate a difference and create a new stimulus which is pleasant and replaces old so he has to be very sympathetic very happy very smiling very pleasant so that he will have that old image uh, removed from his mind and will be created a new image so that is retraining so contingency management it is a method of modifying the behavior of a child by presentation or withdrawal of reinforcers it is like positive reinforcer and negative reinforcer positive reinforcers like if the we tell the patient or the, we tell the child that if he cooperates with the procedure we will provide him something like toffee or a um, gift uh, or a book or something uh, so that uh, he will he will be having a happy mind so he cooperates so that, that is positive reinforcer so negative reinforcer is like one whose contingent withdrawal mm -hmm. increases the frequency of a behavior. It is like providing a presentation or a toffee or a gift or a book or a toy which increases the frequency of a behavior so that he cooperates. Negative reinforces like withdrawal increases the frequency. It's nothing like withdrawal of mother from the child so that uh, he, he cooperates. So it is like modifying the behavior by presenting or withdrawing reinforces positive and negative reinforces negative reinforces it's like withdrawal of a mother so uh, usually a termination of aversive stimulus so patient is very different we can use a negative reinforcer as the patient's bystander or the mother to wait outside so the patient will get scared to avoid that the patient cooperates with the treatment sometimes the patient will cooperate with positive reinforcer that is if he gets, uh, if he promised to get a toffee or a gift or a toy at the end of the treatment or we provide him at the right moment, he might cooperate. So that is positive reinforcer and this is negative reinforcer. This is known as contingency management. So that's all about uh, behavior management technique. So we dealt only the non-pharmacological methods. So that is what important for us. So we have home technique. Mm, uh, that is uh, hand over mouth technique, aversive conditioning, white noise, uh, this contingency management and uh, implosion therapy, white noise or audio analgesia and modeling. So all these questions are frequently asked as short note. Okay, so I'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more. Thank you.